Hey Dazzlers, I told you I was going to be trying to come back with more content more often and here we go, a new video, chocolate covered Oreos and a little additional information on edible images. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, so you want double stuffed Oreos. Double stuffed Oreos is going to help with your ratio to chocolate factor. And you want these clear molds. I'm gonna post the link. I get them from Amazon. There are a couple other places that you can get them from, but I get mine from Amazon. They help uh, with the chocolate portion from top to bottom. If you see the picture, you see the difference. It makes a huge difference. You don't. People call these hockey pucks because a lot of people use way too much chocolate and we don't want to do that. We want our customers to not only enjoy our treats, we want them to um, or enjoy looking at our treats. We want them to enjoy eating our treats as well. We don't want them just to be for decoration. So you push, I put the uh, chocolate in, then I push the Oreo down some until I feel like it's covered and then add just enough on top you do not want you don't need to fill it to the top you just want to fill the bottom of the container push the Oreo in that chocolate will circle around it and then you pipe more chocolate over top okay same repeat chocolate at the bottom put the Oreo in push down you don't want to push too far because you do not want the Oreo to show through the bottom of the chocolate and you want to shake that uh, chocolate to even it out Almost running out of chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I feel that back up. Add the Oreo, push it down, add chocolate on top. Make sure you uh, shake the container so it evens out. You see those air bubbles in that second one we did? You want to see those air bubbles because that means they're no longer at the bottom, they're coming to the top. So that's why we tap the mode. Tap, tap, tap a mode. Shake, shake, shake the chocolate. So the tapping the mode helps release those air bubbles. And seeing those cookies pop up, that's fine. Now make sure you tap them. The, uh, I was tapping it in my hand and wasn't showing you, so I wanted to bring that on back. Make sure you're tapping the chocolate. See, there's it doesn't fill all the way to the top there's some chocolate there's some space you don't have to fill those all the way up the more chocolate you put in the container the more or mode the more chocolate your customers going to bite into now you stick those in the freezer for about 10 minutes I'm tapping to make sure that they release if they're good and solid as they are they will release easily no fuss no muss Okay, so we gotta take a quick break. I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording at this point, but I wasn't. So I didn't do as much as I wanted to with the images. But here we go. We got most of the images done when I realized that we weren't recording. So when removing images, 
you want to if they're pre-cut like these and yes I make the, uh, these images if they're pre-cut you want to slowly remove them they will release but you don't want to pull especially on images that are cut out to match the shape of the image you want to make sure that you are very gentle because it, it is um, thinner type paper so what we're going to do is I'm going to use my torch to warm up the Oreo it warms up the outside and that chocolate if you can see is lightly uh, done you can also paint on chocolate on the back of the image or use some water to, to seal it I like the paint on or the torch method the best um, but that is how you would add your images and if you do need images you contact creative treats on Facebook or email me at creative treats LLC at gmail.com and we can discuss getting some images you can order straight from the website www.creativetreats.com and these came out so cute I love the images that I use these fondant pieces came out adorable um, because this was an extra because I didn't mean to use this one um, for this actual order I wanted to show you guys how to do the images so yeah I uh, had to use that extra Oreo I was going to just use that Oreo to show you guys how um, what the Oreo looks once separated that's why I did five it was going to be my shut cut and show you'll see but I wanted to show you it all together on the set and what it looked like since you didn't get to see me do the other ones but yes that is some blue luster dust and if you would like to see how I did these fondant pieces these are fondant pieces not chocolate Stay tuned um, for the next video. It will be released in a few days. I have another video on how to do small fondant decorations. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Oreo tutorial. It wasn't very long, just the basics. This was the last day of October that I made this order. It was for um, a friend that is currently battling um, breast cancer. The, um, the circle Oreo that you see with the flowers around it, it actually says, friends don't let friends fight cancer alone. Um, she's an amazing individual. So I actually gifted this set to her because I wanted her to know, like it says on the, the, uh, the edible image, friends don't let friends fight cancer alone so um again i'm sorry i didn't <laughs> I almost got emotional uh i hope you enjoyed this tutorial take a look at how they came out as always like subscribe share and comment and remember Keep dancing.